No shot. But still carries. Yeah. Crunchy. I like that one. Welcome back to JR Pro Shop Vids. Jimu is here. We are here to try out the new Outer Limits Pearl from Radical. As all of you know, Outer Limits was one of my favorite balls of 2023, so I'm super excited to try out this Outer Limits Pearl. So comparing to that ball today, we have the Outer Limits Original, the hybrid version, and also the Tour Dynamics from Rotogrip. And that's because all three of these balls are asymmetric cores. However, they're not your big hook monsters at the very top of your bag. These are more in the middle of your bag, so medium hook potential. We're here on a 46 foot oil pattern, so we'll try it out. Pretty long. Good shot. All right, that Tour Dynamics is usually the first ball in my bag. Throw a couple more. Good shot. Ooh, so good. So good. I'll do one more. Shout out to Thomas, our head mechanic here at Splitsville Riverport for oiling the lanes for us always for the vids. That guy's awesome. Oh, bit outside, bit outside. Five pin. All right, not the best last shot, but as you can tell, that ball is extremely smooth. It comes out as the first ball out of my bag because it's a solid cover. It has a smooth reaction, digs in the mid lane, very smooth and overall, it's what you want on the fresh. You want control. Moving off of that ball, we're gonna go to the Outer Limits, the original. Now, don't be fooled. The new one looks kind of similar to this one, but it's okay. This ball is usually the next ball out of my bag. When the lanes start to get a bit burnt up, I move in and open up the lane with this one. I expect it to hook a little bit more, in the back end especially, but we'll try the same line. Good shot. Yeah, a lot more back end motion. Just outside. Ooh, but still carries. I'm gonna move two boards left. Oh yeah. Carry it. Oh, as I said, Outer Limits hybrid, a bit cleaner and a bit sharper off the back end. Now, Outer Limits Pearl. Oh, so sweet. It's got that HK22 Pearl cover stock. Try it on that same line that we just left the seven pin on. Okay. Jeez, get up. Oh. All right, let's try hitting our target, but I'm very shocked that those two came back. Come back. Ooh. Mester takes out the 10. Those three shots, I leaked them all a bit to the right at the break point. That ball has the pearl cover stock. It naturally won't dig in the oil as much as the other two, but it slides through it. And then as soon as it sees the friction, it wants to turn to the pocket pretty hard. So those are pretty sweet. I'm okay with those. Question time with Jimu. Today's question is about your league arsenal. So as you know, the Outer Limits is part of my normal league arsenal. And I'm sure this Outer Limits Pearl is also gonna be added to that as well. So my question for you today is what is your league arsenal? And if you need any recommendations on bowling balls, shoot a comment down below and we'll be sure to answer. Now we're gonna start moving left. We're gonna see the limits of all three of these balls. Let's move five left from that last line. I expect this ball to definitely not make it back. But we'll try. That was pretty sweet. We're gonna try that again. No shot, no shot. Okay, two really good shots with the tour dynamics. I threw it a bit slower. Naturally, when you're covering more boards, you need to give the ball more time on the lane to come back. And those looked really good from there. So we're gonna try the same line with the other two. Outer Limits Hybrid. actually way closer to the tour dynamics line. I think that one just has a little bit more in the back end. So when it came off the pattern, it wants to turn a bit harder. Outer Limits Pearl. Yeah, and that one has a lot of back end. So it's kind of like the Outer Lim it's kind of like the Outer Limits Hybrid, but that one just has a little bit even more in the back. All right, another five to the left. I think this is gonna strike really good with this. Wow, 
the ball actually hooks quite a bit for a 46 foot oil condition. Surprise. Two more left. Oh yeah. Pretty good shot there. I'm noticing that on the fresh condition, this pearl cover stock ain't looking the best. I tried it after our Tuesday night pattern, just practicing and on the burn, and that looked really good. But for the fresh, it's not the most ideal. Under Limits hybrid from that same line, this should look a lot better. Yeah, has a bit rounder shape off the back. That looks pretty good for right now. Oh, yeah. Crunchy, I like that one. So what I'm seeing out of these three bowling balls, Tour Dynamics going the smoothest and earliest out of the three, probably the least amount of hook potential. Then you got the Outer Limits Hybrid, that's going a bit further down the lane, has a bit sharper motion from the Tour Dynamics. And then finally, the Outer Limits Pearl, furthest and cleanest reaction and the sharpest. The beauty of these three is I could probably have all three in my bag, then just go from one to the next to the next, and then bada bing bada boom, league's done. We win money. Back to the star of the show, Outer Limits Pearl. Oh yeah. Oh, ho. pretty sweet. Let's do a couple more and then we're good to go. Oh yeah. Oh no. Pretty close, pretty close. I wanna see one more nice strike though. That looks pretty good. Let's recap. So special bonus here. Jungo just finished throwing his ball reviews on the same lane. Now we got some burn on this pair. So I'm super excited. We're gonna try the Outer Limits Pearl, get some proper reaction shots for the video here. Okay, G moves back from the lanes and we got to try this brand new Outer Limits Pearl. Now what can I say? The Outer Limits Hybrid, the original that came out last year, was one of my favorite balls of 2023 and one of my favorite balls to date. The one issue I had with that bowling ball, I found it to be a bit too early. So I would normally use some compound on it to get it to shine up and go further down the lane before it started to hook. Funny enough, this ball actually comes with compound. So I wanted to see if this one was basically what I wanted out of the original. And surely enough, it is. As I said out there on this 46 foot lane condition, on the fresh, pearls are almost never the best shot or the best bowling ball that you should be using. You should be using something smoother like that Tour Dynamics or even the Outer Limits Hybrid. It has a smooth, controllable shape on the fresh and I was happy to see that both of those were able to strike. Going back to the Outer Limits original, that ball gave me a bit more length than the Tour Dynamics and it provides enough back end for me where I can move into the middle of the pattern and be confident that it'll come back to the pocket. Now, as I said, after our Tuesday night league, I flirted around with this on the burn and this looked unreal. So it's definitely meant for a burnt up or later in the day condition and not meant for the fresh oil. I'll be throwing this in game three, four, later half of the tournament, and it'll provide me with some easy going through the fronts and make sure I have a sharp enough reaction in the back end to blend out the wet dry. So I say, don't be fooled with the colors of this ball. It looks a lot like the original, but that doesn't mean that there's not a spot for both of them in your bag. I think that this ball is different enough from the outer limits where if you know the oil condition is gonna be long or medium to long, you could bring both of them for the night and see how they do. Moving forward, just because new is always better, I think I'm gonna be trying to favor this ball a bit more than the original Outer Limits and see how it blends with the rest of my arsenal. So thank you so much for watching. 
Don't forget to hit up shop.bufabowling.com. Use our promo code JUNGLEBARCH for 10% off your order. He's got bags, balls, shoes, any accessories. And don't forget to check out Spectre Pro Shop software. This is what we use in the Pro Shop when we're drilling balls, keeping track of clients and everything in between. So it helps me, it might help you. Don't be afraid to check it out. And finally, don't forget to comment down below, what is your league arsenal? And if you're still trying to figure out what balls might work for you in your league arsenal, give us a comment and we'll be sure to answer back. Thanks everyone and see you in the next video. Good shot. Good shot. Oh, a bit outside, a bit outside.